Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lin, and I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Today is Thursday, uh, May 6, 2021. It is a day two. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in Mindful Minute. It's a good way to get yourself settled and, you know, really attentive and focused on what is going on right here around us and also within you. Um, the past is the past. The future is the future. There's nothing we can do about either. The only moment we have any control over is the here and the now. So if we're going to control the here and the now, we have to make sure that we are attentive to it. So we want to make sure that uh, we really soak it in, we observe it, and we notice what we have right here. Okay? So using our eyes, just look around. Focus in on one thing that's interesting to you and study it. Maybe it's the same thing that you look you were looking at yesterday. Maybe it's something different. But study its shape and sizes. If it's something that you were looking at before, find and notice something about what it looks like that you didn't notice the last time you were looking at it. And then take a breath in and out. What do you notice with your sense of smell in this environment? And then pause ever so quietly and listen to the sound of silence around you. What sounds are there nonetheless that you're now paying attention and noticing because you've started observing and noticing this moment? And then with your skin, what do you notice, right? Whether it's the clothing on you or the air brushing against your skin, what do you notice? All right, let's go ahead and take a fir your first breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, allowing yourself to settle in. You may close your eyes, you don't have to, but that's what I like to do. I'm going to use the smelling of the flower, breathe in, and breathe out, allowing your shoulders to relax, allowing your belly and your chest to sink. Breathe in again, in, and out. If your mind finds itself wandering off and not paying attention to this moment, be kind and gently as you breathe in, tug that attention back in so that it can truly notice what is around you and within you. Breathe out. Speaking of what's within us, notice all 10 of your toes. Breathe in. The balls of your feet, your ankles as you breathe out lower part of your legs, your knees, upper part of your legs, and your hips. Say hello to those parts of your body as you breathe in. Noticing how your belly expands as it soaks in the air and goes down as you breathe out. Same thing with your chest as it sinks as you exhale. Breathe in. Notice the lower part of your back as well as the upper part of your back. And as you breathe out, notice your shoulders as you give it permission just to relax. Breathe in. Notice your biceps and your, your elbows and your forearm. Breathe out. Notice your wrists, your palms of your hands, and all ten fingers. Breathe in. Notice your neck, breathe out, notice your head. And finally, as you continue to breathe in, notice what feelings you've brought to yourself to school, brought with yourself to school. As you breathe out, sit with those feelings. Those feelings often want to tell you something. They have some sort of message to bring to you. Listen and be understanding of that message. Breathe in. Sit with those feelings. Let them tell you what they need to tell you. And in due time, they too will disappear and dissipate as you breathe out to the next moment. Now in a moment, you'll hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you.
Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You can go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. It's always great to know so many of you guys are joining me. And even if you don't join me, just know that the invitation is open for you to join tomorrow or any other day. Um, don't forget, we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, show that you're respectful to others as well as to yourself. Um, this includes the cafeteria. This includes being on the bus. This includes being in the hallway. Work on yourself. Work on being better work on doing better, right? Same thing with responsibility. You want to take care of yourself. You want to take care of other people. You want to take care of your belongings, your iPads, making sure those are charged, making sure that you've got your materials for learning in school, right? Responsibility suggests that you've got control over things that you can control. So figure out what you can control and work on it. And finally, show that you're ready, ready to have a good attitude, ready to learn, ready to do your best, ready to show that perseverance of never giving up, ready to show patience, which is once again our character trait for May, calmly waiting for things that you want. That's what patience is. It's easier said. You can easily suggest that somebody else is patient. It's easier to do that than to actually be patient. I don't know if you've ever tried to wait for a gift and how hard that might be. So show that you're patient, show that you can be calm and wait for the things that you want. And in the end, you'll find yourself more happy. You'll find yourself more content. And finally, if nobody has said this to you, I hope that someone that you know loves you has said this, and that is going to come from me. I love you, and I like you just the way you are. I challenge you to tell classmates, colleagues, uh, Tell, tell teachers and, and substitutes, tell your principal that you love them and you like them just the way they are. Sometimes you guys even add in a heart and that's kind of cool too. Can't wait to see you guys around. Have an incredible Thursday.